Greetings everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this session we're going to learn about insecure vector object reference or IDOR vulnerability. IDOR is actually a vulnerability in which a user is able to interact with any other user's account and can make remote changes like changing password of any other user, accessing files of any other user by exploiting the main functionality of the application. Now consider a scenario in which um, there is a settings page and a user can make a password change request. Now if in the password change request there is something like ID parameter or anything that identifies the user account, if it's replaced with someone else ID then it is possible to change password of any other user. If it's vulnerable to IDOR we can do that or if we take a scenario of a file manager that views the files of the logged in user if we make some changes and manipulate some values we can access files of any other user user account. So that's what happened in an IDOR vulnerability. We can directly interact with other users data and functionalities. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to find and exploit this vulnerability. Greetings everyone, this is Shawar Khan and in this lesson, we'll learn how to find an IDOR vulnerability. In our previous lesson, we discussed what is an IDOR vulnerability. It is basically a vulnerability that allows an attacker to communicate with others, other users account and can make remote changes without interacting with the user. Here we got a test application and this is a functionality that can allow us to change the secret of a user. Each user has a different kind of secret value that can be used for resetting Mm, their password so like if we enter our name here it will be changed to our secret so whenever I reset my password here I have to enter the secret code or secret string in order to reset my password so in order to test this functionality for IDOR what we have to do is that first we have to intercept the request using burp suite Next we have to see that what's the identifier. We can see here um let me send the request for, to repeater first. And you can see that the identifier here is login parameter. This is actually actually taking the username. If I submit this request, it will change the secret of this user. You can see here. Now, if we change this to something else, you can see that we are able to change the secret of any other user like if if that was a password case we, we were able to directly change password of any other user by just replacing the ID in other applications there can be other identifier like ID is equal to 1, 2, 3 or whatever or we can sometimes change the session session cookie or whatever the identifier is so to test the vulnerability we intercept the request we check the identifier we replace the identifier with any other user's account in order to test the vulnerability we can use our two test accounts and we can try changing the values of second account using the first account so that's how to find an IDOR vulnerability